cool inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. That's right, inventions, all kinds of things, innovations on my cool inventions network. Broadcasting live from St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm your host, ACOS Jank here, and let me tell you something. We got all kinds of exciting things. Inventors come onto this program every single day and pitch their product to you guys, and you guys vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And my gosh, the, the voting has been hectic and great. Let me tell you something. We had uh, last program, we had a lady on here by, uh, by the name of Leanne Ball with the Passwords Fast. And let me tell you something. This was an invention that actually was a very kind of, kind of retro. It's kind of an offline version of keeping all your, all, all, your, all your passwords and all your secrets for all your codes, for all your accounts, because she believes that keeping them on the cloud and different, the different and, uh, password keepers, these things have been hacked into. So she developed an offline version that you can put all your passwords in called Passwords Fast. Let me tell you something. This resonated with me, this invention, because my bank, for example, when I do a serious uh, wire transfers, we have an offline code generator that they link to the password. So even the banks now know that they need a secondary sort of a, a password trip up program that people can hack into. So this invention, Passwords Fast, you guys voted. Oh my goodness, one of the biggest votes we've ever had in all 100%. You guys resonated with Password Fast. Looks like you really love this product. And you know something we've already presented? We're going to present this product to Inventor Showdown to put this on our live national uh, broadcast uh, reality show called Inventor Showdown. The second season's coming up. So if you have an invention, you got to get on our program. We never charge for that. And what happens is uh, people vote and if it's a great thumbs up, we pass it by the uh, buying team over up there at uh, Inventor Showdown at Evine Live. There's the logo there, Evine Live. And uh, that our second program, our second season are going to start shortly. Uh, it looks like uh, sometime in July we'll be announcing the second launch of the second season for Inventor Showdown. And my goodness gracious, you guys are responding. We've had thousands and thousands of people interacting with us. This place has been super busy. And I want to talk to you about our Roku channel, our Amazon Fire channel, and our Android channel. We just recently got back into that program. We hired a couple of new people to really look at that program and really up the game. And let me tell you something what's going on. The Inventions and Gadgets channel, okay? We have another company called Inventions and Gadgets. We have a Florida LLC, we have a registered trademark, and we have a station called Inventions and Gadgets on the Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and the Android TV platform. Now, there's a live streaming show there. we have just about to rearrange this. We've partnered up with some other people to bring on great programming. That's going to be one of the greatest television broadcast digital TV channels for all things inventions and all things gadgets and all things innovation. So I want you to go there and I want you, if you have a Roku a box or an Amazon Fire Stick or if you've got an Android TV, I want you to click off the inventions and gadgets channels. Big changes to that. And let me tell you something, the biggest companies in the country uh, who do uh, a DRTV are going to come on board there. We're, we're, we're doing their TV ads, their two-minute spots and the 30-minute spots. Big changes to the inventions and gadgets channel. we got some of the biggest players in the Electronic Retailing Association working with us, and that's going to be a really big announcement. You're going to see great things from the Inventions and Gadgets channel, including the broadcast of Inventor Showdown. So we've already got some of the episodes up there. So the Inventions and Showdown channel, Inventor Showdown is the program there. You can go take a look at it anytime you want. And all of those programs are also video on demand. Now, we were doing some crazy things up there, like leaving untitled stations and stuff. We've cleaned all that mess. We've got rid of the guy who was doing that. So now what we've got there is a cleaner platform. You're going to love, love, love the Inventions and Gadgets channel. Now, let me go on uh, Let me go on and talk to you about uh, today's inventor. And we have Ms. Shannon Ferris. Now, let me tell you something. She's invented something called Mash Caps. And this is kind of interesting. This is kind of bling for your glasses. I think this is what it is. Bling for your glasses. I actually brought my glasses. See if I can bling them up. You can bling them up with, what is that? A, a monkey and a pig and uh, happy faces and animals and ants and jewels. You can be, you know what? Because glasses are kind of boring. They're kind of dull. They're kind of unexciting. There's my glasses. I kind of look done, you know, maybe look like a professor or something. But however, you want to bling these things up really quick. Great. So what do you want here? Let's get her on the program. Let's get Ms. Shannon Ferris on the program. Ms. Shannon, welcome to My Cool Inventions and tell us about your mash caps. Good morning. My mash caps are just little charms that slide on the frame of kids' glasses so they can decorate them. 
It's used as an incentive, so it gets kids to wear their glasses more. And it also makes something that has always been kind of nerdy a little bit cool. They flip the switch, so to say, in the classroom. So you're cooling up the kids' glasses. What about the adults' glasses? Well, I'm working on it, actually. I'm working on some more adult charms right now. They're mainly for kids. I do have one that I've been working on. I'll show it to you. All right, let's see it. I want to see this uh, the adult one. Flower, you know, can you see it? Well, I don't want the flower one. I want something a little more, you know, manly. You got anything I, I manly? I'd like to get some licensing for some sports logos. Oh, that would be perfect. no, you see, uh, if so you had the Tampa Bay Lightning on that thing, I'd be wearing that all day long. Let me tell you, Tony, our producer in there, he'd actually wear glasses if he could put a Tampa Bay Lightning logo on it. And there, you know, <laughs> you know, that's what we need. We need we need logos of teams on our glasses. So, how did you come up with Mashable? How did you come up with? Um, uh, how, I guess how did you come up with this uh, great idea? Uh, well, I, honestly, I was just walking through my house, and I thought, gosh, there used to be these bracelets that women would wear. Right. And they would snap, they would snap charms into them. And I thought, wow, you know, they spent $20, $30 on a charm. And then I started thinking about Pandora bracelets. Uh-huh. And Pandora bracelets, you know, they're $60 a charm. Right. And I thought, gosh, you know, with this, you know, where everybody's putting everything on social media these days, everybody wants to show who they are. And they're missing the most obvious place on their glasses. On their, That's well, where everybody looks. Well, you're look. You're right. On your glasses is kind of uh, you know. I used to say, on your face or in your case. That's what you have to do your glasses. But when they're on your face, I guess you could decorate them up. No, I got a couple here. Oh, here's one. I got the U.S. flag here. All right, so I can. you're saying these little U.S. flag things. I don't know, Al, where you want me to put this. I, my producer, oh, there you go. I'll show everybody. There's the U.S. flag. It's not very focused. or even My eyes are not focused on there. So what will happen is that the U.S. flag will go on the side. You see, you decorate the arms of the glasses, right? You got goes on the arms of the glasses, so you can decorate the side. Okay, so you have U.S. flag, you got flags. Let's go. Oh, you got Santa Claus here. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, so um, how long have you been doing this? Well, I started about two years ago, but it took me a while to get the design right. Right. So it wasn't until really uh, about September of last year that I finally got the final design. And then, unfortunately, I'm a teacher, so I got the final design, and then I had to go right back to work. So okay, well, as far yeah. as the, being able to have the time to work on it, it's been a little bit limited. So you've been selling them? I, I mean, working on it, does that mean out there selling it? Yes, exactly. And uh, so how are the sales going, can I ask? Well, uh, I say well, I, it's, I'm just starting to get going. All know? right. It's, I'm trying to educate an entire population that these even exist. Yeah, so you know, as that's... far as selling them at my own school, that's easy. The kids love them. Well, as far as selling them to other teachers, that's easy. But as far as getting everybody across the whole United States to know they exist, that's hard. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to talk about that in the uh, second uh, segment here. But first, we want to hear your pitch. It's up to you now to convince us. Is this a thumbs up or a thumbs down? You want to get the maximum thumbs up because that gets the attention of our reality show. Over 90 million homes. Inventors Showdown appears on Sundays. Second season starting soon. So you want to get a maximum thumbs up, bitch. So this 60 seconds is kind of important to you, you know? So make sure it's a good 60 seconds. Are you ready to give us your best 60 second pitch? Yes. Let's do it. Do you have any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Hi, everyone. My name is McCannon, and my company is Mashcaps, and I am, wait for it, a teacher. But there's a problem in our classrooms. It's the same old problem with the same set of excuses. I lost them. My mom lost them. I forgot them. My dog ate them. Okay, maybe not that last one, but seriously, I had had it up to here with the excuses, excuses, excuses. And that's why I invented mash caps. Mash caps are charms that slide on the frame of kids' glasses. You can decorate them with a football, a butterfly, or an emoji. And they won't fall off. It's that simple. But wait, there's more. If kids wear them to school, they'll go from nerd to cool. They can even put them on their sunglasses. Going to a soccer game? Put on a soccer cap. Going to a holiday party? Put on a Santa cap. Going to the DMV? You might need the poop emoji. Moms like them because they're simple, they're affordable, and most importantly... Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. 
be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. My goodness, the time ran out. And my, did you say poop emoji? <laughs> so if you go to the uh, DMV, put your poop emoji on. That's a pretty good pitch, but the time ran out on you. Listen, uh, what were you going to say in the last sentence? Uh, because, you know, the crashing time thing came down on you. So what was that last sentence? I just said it's four for ten dollars, limited time only right now. There you go, four for ten dollars. You lift out something. Where do I? Okay, it's four for ten dollars. Do I just uh, call any random number, or do I go to any random website, or where do I no. go to buy them? <laughs> I guess that cut off too. Mashcaps. Mashcaps.com. Four of these guys for a ten dollar bill. You know they're kind of cool. And how many designs do you have? Oh, gosh, I've got about 30 designs. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to mashcaps.com. Go check out the 30 designs on there. Maybe pick up for support this inventor. In the meantime, you got to vote. Everybody's got to vote because it all comes down to the vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com and vote. Thumbs up or not thumbs down is up to you. You decide if this is a great product idea or not. But let me tell you, Ms. Shannon, wouldn't you love to be on Inventor Showdown, nationally syndicated 90 million homes all at the same time, see if you can sell hundreds of thousands of these things? Absolutely. Well, you better get your social media going. You better get the email going. You better promote up the thumbs up vote by going to mycoolinventions.com. Tell everybody. Tell one. Tell all. Tell your students. Tell the teachers. Tell everybody to vote. And by the way, be like Sh- be like Miss Shannon here. Get on our program. On there, all you have to do is go to mycoolinventions.com. That's mycoolinventions.com. Hit the submit button. Who knows? Maybe you've got a hundred million dollar product. You never know. You got to keep walking. You got to keep moving. I tell all my entrepreneurs. I tell all my business people, everybody I come in contact with, keep moving, keep walking, keep getting out there. Because if you don't, I can guarantee the result. But if you do, who knows? Maybe you get out there. Is this the next $100 million idea? Wait, I forgot the gas! How could you? We just got here! Stop. Stains are out. Stop the crying with Stains Are Out. It's incredible. It's amazing. Who was that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. I studied chemistry in college, and uh, I learned to design and look at solutions for different things, learned to break things down, and then later I got into the trade show business where I was demonstrating products to people, and then I realized the best-selling products are problem solvers. People always want to solve their common problems at home, so then we started looking at what problems are common, what do people need solutions for, and we started designing them. I guess that's the definition of invention. Hi, I'm Akos Jankira. They call me the solutionist. And the collection I'm bringing to Evine is innovative gadgets, problem solvers, things that you want to tune into because they're always cool and exciting. Wasn't that product great? The invention, mash, mash, mash caps. That's what I like about this country. I love the spirit of this country. I love the fact that a teacher out there designs these things, getting the word out there, starting from scratch, building up a brand, building up a product. You know, it's such an important thing in our society, such an important thing of this country, of America here, to get these inventors going and get them. And that's what we're all about, My Cool Inventions. We don't charge to be on My Cool Inventions. You don't get charged to be on over, actually today it's 53 radio stations. We did our research now, 53 different radio radio stations carry our program, including in Tampa on 1380 AM every single day in drive time. We have the drive time slot right now, which is fantastic. So all kinds of exposure for these inventors. Uh, our, 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 our buddies up there in Minneapolis who syndicate our radio program they added a couple more radio stations to our, our network just recently. And let me tell you something, in, in the radio, My Cool Inventions is everywhere across this country, beautiful country of ours. And you know, in the fourth segment of these shows, we do selling. Now, we've changed up that format that we're selling things every fourth day. And we're starting to get sales coming in from the radio, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We, we, we appeared with Sheffley there a couple days ago. We took a bunch of Sheffley orders. So if you're an inventor, we can also sell your product in the fourth uh, pod or the fourth segment of these programs. So that's kind of a good to get that exposure out there also. And then on the digital television platform, very important. Things are changing. Let me tell you, I just, we're just doing research in this thing. we got a consultant in here and we, we're doing, a, we, we had a, a, a great couple of consulting phone calls there. And we have 60,000 
60,000 people who are paying attention to the program. That's not nothing. 60,000 viewers. And the average viewers watch it for 32 minutes, which is really amazing. 32 minutes is the average viewing time. In today's day and age, when it comes to digital videos, uh, that's remarkable, because that means that you guys are interested. The America's in- public is interested in the Inventions and Gadgets channel. Places like Roku TV, Amazon Fire, and Android TV. Now, we're about to add, we're about to add Apple TV, and we're about to add Google, the Google uh, t- TV platform also, and Samsung Smart TVs. I mean, coming up soon, you'll actually, if you have a Samsung Smart TV, you'll see the app right there on your thing, and you'll be able to click on that too. So, we're expanding the digital television platform, which is just crazy awesome. We've got full focus on that now. We're going to make that a wonderful, beautiful thing. And on top of all of that, select inventors that come onto this program could end up on the reality show, a nationally syndicated reality show called Inventor Showdown that we broadcast live from the Evine Live Network on Sundays to 90, almost 90 million homes. There's all kinds of crazy great things going on with Evine Live right now. They just announced, I don't know if you guys know, they just announced they opened an office in LA, a studio in an office in Los Angeles, and they're opening an office in New York. That was an announcement yesterday. With this thing, these guys are growing. These guys are expanding. These guys are doing all kinds of great things. And we're doing their infomercials for them also. Actually, yesterday, we did an infomercial right here in the studio. We did a radio infomercial for one of our old friends, Dr. Michael Pincus. And uh, look for the radio. Listen, it doesn't have to be radio. It could be on television. It could be on digital TV. Anywhere we can we can actually promote an inventor, get the product out there. That's what we are all about. We just don't talk about consulting. We don't, we don't charge for consulting. We go out there and do it. We're the doers. We're the people who make things happen. As a matter of fact, all kinds of crazy things have happened in the, in the recent past. We've got Yisha, who won Inventor Showdown. He's going to be July 18th, the TTV, the Today's Top Value on Evine. 16, 17,000 units have been ordered for him. I am selling uh, the Tadpole Tape Cutter on Monday night and Tuesday coming up next week uh, for, for Lee Monahan, And he was on Inventor Showdown. He didn't win, but my gosh, he came close. So they've been giving him all kinds of crazy airtime and orders also. And just a couple days ago, uh, Pam Miller, who did the side Sench Needles, she was on Evine, all as a result of my cool invention, all as a result of Inventor Showdown. So hopefully, Miss Shannon Ferris with her mash cap ends up in the same uh, same place. Let's get her back on the program. So, Miss Shannon, so you're out there, you're, you're talking it up with the students, you're talking it up with the teachers, so how are you going to get this thing talked up to, uh, you know, the general public? Well, I guess for start, I'm here. <laughs> oh, well, so, well, you're here. That's right. Thank you very much. You're here. And I guess uh, thousands and thousands of people will be tuned in and seeing this. So um, so I guess you're a teacher. What, what grade do you teach? I teach first and second right now. Well, let me tell you, people don't know this, but I was raised by two educators. I'm big on educators. Uh, my dad was a teacher and my mom was a teacher, so I understand the whole education thing. Uh, hardest working okay. people in the whole wide world, uh, uh, you know, and uh, they get good summers, but other than that, they work very, very, very hard throughout the year. So I don't know how you found time to do inventing, inventing on the same time. So how many of these things do you have in stock? How, are you selling, like how many do you have in, in the garage or do you keep a warehouse or how many things, things have you made? I have them in my closet. I have about 10,000. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> 10,000? 10,000. 10, Where did you make those? Did you make them by hand, or did you get somebody to make them for you? Where did you get them done? No, I have 10,000 of the connector pieces. Okay. And then I just kind of make the bottle caps as I go along. So, so, so let me I've ask. About, I don't know, about 200 bottle caps ready to go. Well, let me ask you a question, okay? So let's say, let's say I come up and uh, get you an order for 2,000 sets. What are you going to do then? Get busy. <laughs> how many <laughs> how many people live in your house and how fast can you make uh, you know 2000 times 4 or whatever whatever you got to do there Oh I could make 100 a day 100 a day so basically you're talking 100 sets a day or 100 pieces a day uh, 100 of the bottle caps a day and so oh. just putting them together with the connector piece it makes an easy set all right, so hold on, Tony. You got to do some math here. A hundred a day. We got four in a pack. Uh, that's eight. Eight in a pack. That's eight. Uh, eight uh, times two thousand. Sixteen thousand. Okay, sixteen thousand. You need one hundred and sixty days, I think. Or how many? Am, am right? A math te- and teacher. Did I do that math right, or is it one hundred and sixty days or sixteen days? <laughs> <laughs> oh, reading. Okay, that's good because I could use a reading, a reading teacher because you know uh, English is my second language. So, so listen. But I you, am working on being able to get them manufactured, so I don't have it, to do a lot of the labor. There you go. So, who have you found to manufacture? They got any leads on that? I do. I 
do. I've, I've sampled up a couple factories overseas to do it. I think you've got a pretty innovative idea. It's one of those things where it's like, uh, I don't want to say it's a gimmick because it's not a gimmick. It's kind of like a, a fad or a trend, right? I think I think this is the type of thing, if you caught the right thing, and, you, and I have a feeling it's you're, you're in the fashion business right now. And so a lot of inventors, when they come up with these inventions, I, even though it's not clothing, basically it's fashion. And the reason it's fashion because you've got a lot of different skews, a lot of different designs. And when you have a lot of different designs, it's kind of harder to do because you got to figure out which design is hot, which design is not. You got to put a bunch out there. Um, and so you're kind of in the fashion business. Um, so are, are you looking at trends? Have you figured out which which little uh, bottle cap is the hottest? Uh, yeah, I, I have actually. And it's real easy to do since I work in an environment that's all kids. So, so, so they what, kind of dictate what's hot and what's not. So you got a little focus group going on. You got your kids' focus group happening, right? I do, and I also have an 11 year old daughter that right. lets me know. I'm going to hey, guess. That's not cool. I'm going to guess. Is the poop emoji the number one? It, it, that's a very popular one. But believe it or not, some of the most popular are with the boys. Oh. They love the soccer ball right. and the football. Of course. All right, you got soccer ball and a football. I'm telling you, you got to get the license for you know teams because I got to tell you right now, we're hot to trot on the Tampa Bay Lightning right now. It'd be good to have the thunder, you know, lightning bolt on my glasses there. Right. You know, it's not just painting think, my face. I should paint my get my glasses decorated too. Right, and if you think about companies like Pandora, you know they cater Ooh. to women, but they are completely missing the children's and the men's market. And if I could get licensing and do something like that, that would, you know, right. open up a whole new field. Well, here's what you got to do. So where do you live, Shannon? Where do you live? I'm in California. Oh, you're up early. So thank you very much for getting Is it before I'm class right now? Five. Is it before <laughs> class? I've got to go work with kids. All day. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Better, good for you. I, I love it. I love the fact the spirit you have. So here's what you have to do. I want you to get a big thumbs up vote because I actually kind of like this invention. It's kind of unique. It's different. I've never seen it before. You know, an old old guy like me who's been around inventions for 30 years. You know, you, you've kind of seen it all. But you know, you surprised me this morning. I've never seen this before, okay. and this is kind of cool. So I want you to get the vote out there. I want to get the word out there. Get emails out there. Get your social media going. Go on to my cool inventions Facebook page, like the page, vote, get on to mycoolinventions.com, hit the vote button. Is this a thumbs up or is this a thumbs down? Ms. Shannon, I love your spirit. I love inventors like you. I hope one day our paths cross so we can meet in person and maybe that could be right there on the television studio set of Inventor Showdown. I'm the host of Inventor Showdown right there at Evine Live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I hope you're going to be there. I'm going to give her a thumbs up. I like this product. Big thumbs up from me. Everybody vote. And Ms. Shannon, thanks for being on the program. God bless you. We love inventors like you. Uh, you guys are the most important people in our society, teaching our youngsters, teaching our kids to be better and reading and math and all that kind of stuff. In the meantime, vote, vote, vote. Go to mycoolinventions.com. Give her a thumbs up vote right now. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at stainsareout.com. 